Welcome back to Tuesday's TTV. Now, if you haven't heard of Second Life, then you're not really living in the first life. Let me explain by introducing Lizanne Barnwell, who's a Second Life adventurer. You're very welcome to TTV. Please tell us more, because this has taken over some people's lives. Yeah, uh, indeed, it's half taken over my own life, Aidan. Um, <laughs> what is Second Life? <laughs> Second Life is essentially a 3D virtual environment where people inhabit the Second Life world. It was launched in 2003 with just a 1,000 users. There's now 2.4 million users. Um, basically, in the 3D world, your 3D representation of yourself as an avatar, you can customise it, look like who you want to look like. It's extremely powerful tools. You go around the world. It's a highly social media. And any of us can be part of this if we have a computer and the internet. Anyone, you just sign up to secondlife.com. It's completely free. You, um, as I say, make your avatar, you, you walk around the world, do what you want. Interact with people. Now, there's there's a whole lot more than just the fun level and the bit of crack, but let's show some pictures as we're talking about it to illustrate it, because people, if they haven't seen it, might find it hard like me to get their head around it. This is, this is you in there, and this is in Dublin. Yeah, this is um, Grafton Street in Dublin. Like, I mean, Dublin is a full-scale replication of the city. You know, Trinity College is in there, Grafton Street, the Spire, the Guinness Brewery. Temple um, Bar. The works, it's uh, truly amazing, yeah. Okay, so apart from I could meet my mates in here and we can have a chat, I presume by typing through the keyboard, yeah, is it? Yeah. Okay. What else can we do in Second Life and why is it become so popular uh, beyond just being, and I know people don't say don't call it a game, but beyond being that? It, truly, like it, it's beyond a game. As you say, there's no gaming characteristics to it. You can go to college, you can go to classes like, I mean, Harvard, Ohio, Edinburgh, to name but many colleges are holding their real-life classes in the world every day. So rather than me getting up and getting on the bus and going up to Trinity or UCD, I just sit in my computer exactly. and virtually exist in the classroom. Exactly, and it's not like distance courses. You are actually in real time interacting, working collaboratively on projects together. You, you did this yourself. You gave a lecture in, in Trinity um, through Second Life, is that right? Yeah, well, I held a conference, a discussion conference in Trinity College, Second Life. Um, and, and that is it there? That's it there. Um, we set up the entire of the courtyard and all the chairs, the classroom facilities, big demo screen for showing the videos. So is it potentially the future of this? Say you and me are business people and rather than you and me meeting for lunch to discuss this or rather than you jetting in from New York to do global business, we just do it online, yeah, virtually. Exactly. Like, I mean, businesses are already doing that. There are PR companies, Adidas, Dell, IBM. Vodafone, they're all, like Toyota, you know, you walk into the showrooms, you can drive their cars, etc. You know. <laughs> so no doubt there's money to be made, but also there's fun to be had as well. Highly social media, and that's one of the main allures of Second Life. It's opt out of the first one and go into Second Life. Exactly. Why, why not? not? <laughs> Lizanne, thanks for joining us on no TTV. Problem. Thank you. Uh, see you guys hopefully in the first life after uh, Home and Away. <laughs>